So, okay, y'all, I came across this video and I thought it was interesting. Um, let me see what the title of the video is. So it's called, Y'all, The Barbs Doxed Me. What? I don't know. I just found this very interesting um, because I feel like staying culture, right? I don't know. I just feel like there is a too far. And I feel like y'all have to be held accountable, okay? This stand culture has become, it's just too much. Y'all kind of make it where it's not even fun anymore. You know, like artists can't even rap beef or have a disagreement. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm going to hear his story. I don't even know if he's trolling or what. Um, but I'm gonna watch this video because I don't know. I just feel like from one Barb, okay, I've, 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 I officially became a Barb last year. Okay. And other Barbs basically recruited me. Okay. They recruited me. Okay. I've always been a Nikki fan. Um, my cousin who put me on to Nikki years ago you know, during the MySpace days, she's an OG bar. So I don't know. I just feel like being around her, it kind of made me a bar, but I just didn't know, you know. But I've always been a fan of Nikki. But I think I'm an official bar. So from one bar to another bar, I'm holding y'all accountable. I'm calling y'all out, okay? Because y'all have gone too far. But we're going to get into this, Okay. Let me get this right. All right, so this is the video right here. Okay, let's get into this. It is February 2nd, 1229 a.m. in the morning, approximately six days. Oh, after he's serious. I was doxed by the barbs for my commentary on Nicki Minaj. Let's get into it. Y'all, it's 12.29 a.m. in the morning, and I'm only filming this day because this is the he only He got particular I dates. Wait, wait, he has the dates, the times, the location. Okay, he's not playing. Come on. Down, I said I was going to try to be more consistent with this YouTube thing, so... Here I am, feeding the girls, giving you girls something to eat. Is it giving Feeding America? Are you feeding me? Is it giving the Hungry Project? All right, that's what I thought. So yeah, as I said in the intro, my information was leaked. My personal and private information was leaked the night of my younger brother's birthday. I just came back from the movies with my two brothers. I dropped that's back crazy. Off the house. I was on my way up to Orlando to go see my boyfriend. And it's crazy, like within minutes, the energy of the entire night shifted. Like, oh, wait, as soon as things started happening and things started unraveling, I... Oh, wait, y'all. He said, he said he was doxxed. Because of his commentary. And I was I was kind of um, speaking on this in my last video. I just feel like... Why do people feel like their faves can't be critiqued? Or you can't have an opinion about them? Why is that? Because I don't know. I feel like me as a person, right? I'm the type of person where... I want you to be real with me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm tripping, tell me I'm tripping. I might not be tripping. But if you feel that way, okay, maybe I can sit down and we can talk about it. At the end of the day, I might be like, dang, I was tripping. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like it's okay to call people out. It's okay to critique. It's okay to hold people accountable, like how I'm doing you all. I'm just saying, all commentary, all critiques is not like bashing. You know what I'm saying? It's hard being a Barb, okay? If if one day I'm upset with Nikki or I might disagree with what she do, it's okay for me to stand on that. I still love her, you know what I'm saying? I'm still going to stand, but stick beside her, you know what I'm saying? She might get a side eye. But, you know, it's just like, it's okay, guys. People can have their thoughts. They can have their opinions. They can c comment on the queen. I mean, you got to be respectful, though. Don't get me wrong. But I don't know. Why, why are people so sensitive? 
People are so sensitive. But I don't know what he said, though. He must have said, well, no, nobody deserves to get docs, y'all. We got to stop this. We got to stop this. I won't say I was caught off guard. It was just so much to process. I just felt like I was being overstimulated and I was trying to... I had like a million and one thoughts racing in my mind. So I'm going to take you guys through the entire situation. I'm going to give you guys an idea, a breakdown of ultimately exactly what led up to me having my information leaked. I'm going to hear them out. I'm going to hear them out. We're going to get into all the things. So buckle up. Make sure your seatbelts are on. Not buckle up. Some business. So if you haven't watched my video detailing this whole feud between Nicki Minaj and Meg Thee Stallion, really it's a feud between Nicki and herself. If you haven't watched the video, I would urge you to go watch it. And that would kind of provide you some background information. So you're going into this having some sort Don't of... Don't be shaded. <laughs> Meg Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, her IG live. I peeped the shade. Tread lightly. Go ahead, sir. And she shared a snippet to whatever this song that she planned on dropping against Megan. The bars were whack. The bars were whack, period, point blank. The following morning from that IG Live, I posted this video kind of making fun of the bars because they were that cringe. <laughs> Ultimately, that video, which is probably now sitting around like maybe two million. Really? Maybe, I don't know. I don't remember. That video is the reason behind the barbs leaking my information. So follow along with me. I'm going to set. Y'all get what I'm saying? Why? Why people be so sensitive? People can have their opinion. I feel like. Our job, y'all, being a bar, being a Nikki fan, our job is just to be in the com our job is just to be in the comments. Our job is just to respond. You know what I'm saying? Take action at people. Put them in their place. At at. You know, that's what we're doing. No, you're not. You know what I'm saying? That's all we there for. Y'all want to raid the man comments? Okay. Y'all want to at him? Okay. People have a right to their opinion, though. You don't have to go as far as doxing. Really, y'all? That's what we doing. That's what we doing. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Some of y'all be young. I know y'all be very young. Y'all just don't be thinking stuff through. I don't know. But, like, from a, a older Barb like myself, we have to put y'all in y'all place. We have I, I I'm gonna put y'all in y'all place. Well, I ain't gonna put y'all in y'all place, but I'm gonna tell you what I gotta tell you. Okay. You can still do what you want. You ain't gotta listen to me, but it's just like that's the reason. <laughs> that's crazy. Y'all really did that man like that over a TikTok video. Go ahead, mama. I mean, I'm gonna paint a picture. So like I stated before, this is the night of my younger brother's birthday. We went to the movies. I drove them back to the house. I dropped them off so that way I could go about my own way and spend the night with my boyfriend. As I'm driving, my phone is open. Out of nowhere, I'm getting FaceTime calls. These FaceTime calls are coming in at light speed back to back to back to back. As these FaceTime calls are coming in, I'm getting Dang. message after message. All these messages pretty much share the same verbiage. They're either calling me the F slur, they're telling me don't talk about the queen. Some of them are making fun of my looks, which is fucking crazy because the mug is sitting. But that's neither. Y'all are but childish, much, bro. After them first couple of messages, I'm like, oh, they got me. They got me, bitch. They got me. The barbs, the barbs dumped on my fucking information. It is somewhere making its rounds on the internet. I'm sick to my fucking stomach. As this is happening, I'm on the phone with my boyfriend. I'm like, ugh, thought I had to sneeze, hun. Uh oh. I think my information was leaked online. I'm pretty sure it was the barbs. Dang. Who posted what? My boyfriend's pretty internet savvy, so within I want to say a minute or two, he had found the exact post, sent me the link, and was like, "This person barbs. Has been and leaking just think all day." Just think if y'all really put that energy, cause y'all be working miracles. I will say, cause how did y'all find out his information? If y'all put all that energy into like, 
ain't gonna say it's just other areas I feel like y'all can put that energy into because y'all are some gifted people maybe y'all should be like crime solvers or something I don't know but it's just like if y'all pointing all y'all energy in, in the right direction we could really have something we could really go go far I believe but it kind of, too, it makes me realize, like, dang, you have to really be careful when you be on these social media platforms. Like, because I just mean, like, people in general, like, stalkers and, you know what I'm saying? Y'all really got to be careful out there. Like, regardless of all this stuff, I just mean in general. The ordinary person or people, like, we really have to be careful um, to not, you know, have our information out there. Because, I mean, to leak a number is one thing. But, you know what I'm saying? When it goes to as far as, like, personal information, it can get, it can get dangerous. It can really get dangerous. My, my, my. My, my, my. Sure enough. I click on the link, there goes my face, my former address, and a current and up-to-date phone number. Throughout this process, See what I'm, I'm still saying? trying to maintain a conversation with my boyfriend, but because these FaceTime calls keep coming in, the call, at least on my end, keeps getting disrupted, so he can't hear my voice, the sound is going in and out, and I'm just like, okay, we're probably going to have to text until I get to your apartment, and he's like, all right, when you get here, I'm going to help you turn on the feature on iPhone that'll allow you to filter out and block calls mm. from phone numbers that aren't in your contacts. I get off the phone with him, I'm texting into the family group chat, like, I'm pretty sure my information was leaked on the internet by the bots, I need y'all to make sure that the doors are locked, the blinds were closed. Mind you, the whole time I'm texting into this group chat, my love is asleep, sound asleep. It is just the two boys, my brothers. I'm trying to advise them, provide instruction. I'm like, stock up on canned goods. I'm telling these boys, treat this like it's a tropical storm warning. I need y'all to lock in. This is war. This is warfare, bitch. My brother's trying to call me. We're trying to have a conversation. But again, it's not working because these FaceTime calls keep coming in. Now, I won't go more into detail about the events that further ensue. Dang, what do you do when this happens? Out of respect for my family. But I need y'all to understand and I need y'all to take my word. Things escalated. There was enough that happened that warranted my reactions and the ways in which I handled the situation moving forward. I need y'all to just trust me. And I'm I'm being so serious. So I finally get to my boyfriend's house. He helps me turn on the iPhone feature. I'm reaching out to appropriate contacts who I know have the perfect skill sets that are suited for this type of situation. I'm reaching out to close friends, close mutuals. They're getting to work. They're providing me with resources and assistance. Remember earlier how I mentioned my significant other sent me the link of the person who originally doxed me? I'm scrolling through the comments, and the first comment that I see directly under that post is a comment that contains a screenshot of this user authenticating my phone number what? through Cash App. This person not only retweeted this information containing a former address in my phone number, whoa, they whoa, also whoa, reposted whoa, whoa, this information whoa, 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 onto their own page. And then, wait a minute, how they get your cash out, boo boo? Wow, see, I can't watch stuff like this because now I'm going to be, like, paranoid. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to have to get me, a, 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 a like, a, a phone number that I use just for social media. Because <laughs> I'm not the one, honey. I'm going to really buy me a piece now, a piece of steel, if you know what I mean. Yeah, like I gotta be strapped out here, honey. Can't be lacking. In addition, they made a separate post containing a screenshot of a message they sent me. This screenshot had my number visible at the top, side Dang. by side with a picture of my face. Now, throughout this entire process, I'm screenshotting, That's I'm well. recording, I'm bookmarking. Because one thing for sure, two things for certain, I will always have my receipts. Always. Baby, in a little less than an hour, I had everybody's information. One of the girls authenticated my number through Cash App. I found out her birthday was in a few days. I found her school. I found her grandmother. Now, when I saw this girl had a birthday coming up, I made a mental note of it. I registered. Not me, Mo. If I just waited, what if I waited until she blew her candles out for the night and <laughs> just dropped it? So, 
I did just that. I waited. Once I got all the information I needed, you know what I did? I took my ass to sleep. Now, as I was waiting, several other creators on TikTok are coming out, sharing their experiences, having been doxxed that exact same weekend. What? One creator in specific was doxxed by the same account that originally leaked my information. In this girl's video, she made it explicitly clear that she already took care of that one account. She said that motherfucker's name. Called him Landon. Allegedly, he's a white gay cosplaying black. Sure enough, when I go back to that account to check for myself, MIA, user, nowhere to be found. So at that point, bro, I'm like, one down, another to go. So I waited three days on January 3rd. My thing is like this, y'all. It's one thing. Well, don't, don't Twitter pay you, though, like by the tweets? I don't know. But it's one thing to, you know what I'm saying, get paid to do this type of work. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you're getting paid off Twitter, but, or like if, maybe if Nick was paying you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all doing this for, for free? I'm just saying. Who gonna be on the internet doing all this investigation and trying to find somebody's phone number and... I'm not finna do all that. It's crazy to me. Y'all doing all this for free? Or let me know. Maybe I'm missing out. Like, do y'all be getting paid? Fully paid? Y'all get paid by the hour? Like, how that work? Dang. That's crazy outside of a Publix parking lot as I was on my way to do my grocery shopping. I sat in my car and I filmed my video. I laid out terms and conditions. I stuck to the information that was mentioned on the Twitter account that leaked my information and I made my demands. Roll the clip. So interestingly enough, today the, the clip of the person who doxxed and leaked my private and personal information onto the internet this past weekend in response to my criticisms of Nicki Minaj. I found every bit and piece of information I needed to find on you. So you have one of two options. One, you will not only issue me a direct and sincere apology, but you will do so on the very same platform you use to dox and disseminate my private and personal Dang. information. Because what was done in public will be apologized for in public. Number two, you will delete that stand page. You will delete your account. It must be done away with my love. And three, you will take down the post containing my personal and private information. It's still up. Bars, and I didn't know y'all was y'all was doing stuff thing. like this. Now, should you choose not to follow the demand of number <laughs> one? Option number two is one, a report with the cybercrime division of the FBI will be filed. See y'all, it ain't worth it, Barbs. Will be involved so I to seek compensatory damages for Ooh. the trauma you sought to inflict on me and my family. Three, a phone call and several emails will be issued to the technical college at which you major in nursing for to let them know that somebody who potentially will be seeking a career in nursing and be medically responsible for the lives of people. No way. To endanger the lives of regular civilians over celebrity drama. And number four, you also run the risk of your face and the account in which you used to dox me being plastered across the entire internet with that being said i'm looking forward to your apology amaria happy birthday congratulations to you for getting into nursing school and say hi to grandma ida for me kisses I uploaded the video <laughs> nah he ate he ate he ate he ate that go ahead Twitter to notify my followers of what was currently going on, and I took my ass to sleep. Now, a question I kept getting was, how do you know she's going to find it? How do you know she's going to come across it? I don't have an answer for that other than I knew. I knew she would find it. Blessed assurance. When I sat inside that car and filmed that video outside of a Publix parking lot and spoke with the conviction of a 40-year-old Christian woman under the tutelage of a scamming-ass Nigerian prophet, I knew. And God's honest truth, that's all I have for you. So I wake up in the morning for work. <laughs> Barbs, did you hear that? So I wake up in the morning for work. One of y'all should be opening up a tab to Indeed as we speak.
as we speak. One of y'all need to be taking Cornell notes. Oh! Anyways, woke up in the morning around 8.50 something for work. And just like I knew, she responded. And Miss Amaria chose not to follow instructions. Matter of fact. This girl chose to double down. She spent the entire morning gaslighting me, downplaying the severity of the situation because the reality is she not only endangered me, she endangered the lives of my family, my brothers, my mother. This girl kept doubling down, talking about some, oh, I wasn't the first person to come across your information and leak it. That was the basis for her argument. She wasn't the first person to dox or leak my information. She was just the second. And still, even in the midst of all this disrespect, I'm taking the time out of my morning when I should be getting ready for work and I should be eating my fucking Cheerios to explain to this person, my love, doxing is not about who posted what first. It's the dissemination of personal and private information on the internet. Yeah, girl, you can't do that. Intimidate and malign. You that can't do that. Doing. That is what doxing is. She then proceeds to tell me I'm doing this for cloud and then blocks my account. At this point, what is there left to do? Sister Gora made her decision. So I took my ass to work. Once I arrived, I sat in the parking lot and put a nice little email together, put together a PDF file with all the screenshots corroborating my story. Each little screenshot was accompanied by a short summary, a short synopsis, including all the details that would substantiate my claims. In this PDF, I'm showing screenshots of her bio. I'm pulling information Dang, not just from her Twitter, boop, boop. From her personal Instagram account, from her personal Facebook account. I'm showing, hey, this is her profile picture on Twitter. This profile picture is available on her Instagram. Instagram and off of Facebook. She has a picture of her birthday cake she shared to Twitter. That picture is also available on her Facebook. I'm underlining usernames. I'm pointing out the fact that she has nursing student in her bio, both on her Twitter and her Facebook. I'm pulling up screenshots from her Facebook showing her and it's like boo -boo. With the barbs and Nicki Minaj. In addition, you are you a whole nursing student. Like why? Why? Kept asking me, how can we show up? How can we support you? I drafted them a nice little email template that they could just copy and paste. I took screenshots and provided all the appropriate contacts at this girl's technical college. I mean, these were emails from her dean, program instructors, financial aid. That's I got crazy. everybody. And I provided the people who wanted to support me <laughs> with those resources. And I said, send it over. The technical college also happened to have a Twitter. So as all of this is unfolding, I'm like, oh, tag them divas. Go on ahead. And just like that. Emails were sent. Now, remember, I told y'all, I woke up to these tweets from her around 8.56 a.m. in the morning. And two, three hours from that point, sis was doubling down. And I moved quickly. Around 12 noon is when sis starts coming to her senses. Apparently, she's on her Twitter spaces. Dang. Long, some clips. You could have DM me and said, hey, delete this. But instead, you had to go on your TikTok and you had to literally post that TikTok with thousands literally thousands of views on it i am a little ass barbecue okay i am not nate clips i am not hard right i am not cow that I'm don't matter honey because i got three thousand followers if and, and if i was you if i was him in that situation i would have literally dm the person that <laughs> said, hey, can you delete this? instead of posting it for views and attention on tiktok he knew what he was doing this internet girl shit, you posted his, his whole account. information he, what he was doing his like date of said, birth I'm not justifying what i did okay i posted his number and i posted his cash app and i know that was wrong of me like i said you've already admitted to it he could be recording you made a stupid decision and he was recording you really just need to stand on it it's it's nothing else all these other people telling you oh you had to be the first person you messed up no, girl you hated in it. okay so i just i, I think you need to <laughs> Listen to the people who have, are trying laughing. to lead you in the right way, because these other people are not. So I don't even think you should have this space open. I think you you should close this. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm nervous for you. I That's the thing. Like y'all be confusing like trolls. A lot of these people are trolls. They will talk and say whatever, whatever, because they they fit into the negativity. They love it. So they're trolls. They're going to tell you, yeah, do this, do that, da da da. Whole time they ain't even Nicki Minaj fans. They not they not even part of the barbs. You know what I'm saying? Got you out here looking crazy, girl. You let these people hype you up. Got you out here looking crazy, girl. You go, you go get your nursing degree. Why are you even on here?
That's what I would have told her. I hear it in my voice. I'm nervous for you. It was my fault, okay? I just, I had my Twitter account. I was just talking about Nikki, posting about Nikki, streaming by, you know what I'm saying? And then when the whole shit was happening, when people were talking about her, um, it, it got too far. People were doxing people. You know what I'm saying? You were. You included. And I just feel like at some point, y'all just need to understand, like, like, like people was telling me, like, people was fucking commenting on my post and stuff, talking about, you need to go touch grass. You defending somebody who don't even know about you. And yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Nikki, <laughs> Nikki don't know me. Nikki don't know I, where I stay. And for free. You know what I'm saying? And I could love Nikki to death. You know what I'm saying? But at some point, like, this stand shit be. Like, wait, honey, let me tell you something. Nikki herself would not approve of this. Nikki would not approve of this. So it is now at this point she's starting to offer up half-baked apologies. The email has been sent, babes. I extended an opportunity for you to rectify your mistake, even in the face of you putting not only my life at risk, but my family's. And mm. instead, you spit in my face, you double down, you gaslight me, you block me, go on to make tweets talking about some, oh, he can't do nothing, it's not that serious, Doxing's not illegal, he can't, he can't, he can't, he can't, and just like that. Wow. No NCLEX. You but got anyways, the wrong one, the girl. He was the wrong one. And they're egging her on. You know what's actually interesting about that? I noticed this very same dynamic between Nikki and her stand. They will constantly egg this woman on and encourage her to act out with no regard for how the public will perceive her, with no regard for whether or not this will affect potential opportunities for her, with no regard for how this will further impact her mental and emotional health, they continue egging on her toxic behavior because they want to spectate. They want to see more. They want the drama. And should this woman land in hot water, should she get in trouble, they have no follow-up, they have no backup plan, they have no protections. In this is true. This woman almost this sort of symbiotic relationship where both parties benefit because they egg on and co-sign her behavior and she does the same. Like I literally have screenshots of Nikki not only acknowledging that her fans, her stands are doxing people, but she's also endorsing this behavior. Hold and on, so whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. She's endorsing this since when? Wait, let me see. Let me see, bro, bro, you got the proof. You got the proof? Let me see. Uh, I'm just saying, I ain't never heard Nick openly say, hey, y'all go dox this person. This, per this person talking this, da, 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 leak their information. I ain't never heard her say that. I'm just saying fans, her stands are doxing people, but she's also endorsing this behavior. And so as people are sending me clips from this girl's Twitter spaces, I'm listening to her stands, to her fellow peers, tell her, girl, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You did the right thing. You deserved it. Da 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 da. No these way. People have systems of support in place should this girl bear the consequences of her actions. Nobody on Twitter, none of these stands are gonna get on their platforms and crowdfund for her legal fees. Some of the clips I'm coming. And Nikki ain't either. <laughs> Look, y'all, that's what I'm saying. Cause. Because Nikki don't condone this. Because, like, no. And I feel like... Oh. I don't know. I just feel like you have to have things... Things, a lot of times, are your fault. These are grown people, okay? They're, they're young as hell, probably. But these are grown people. They know what they're doing, Okay? And it's just like, it's crazy because Nikki is probably rolling in her bed as we speak, knocked out sleep, honey. She doesn't have a care or worry in the world, honey. She's probably with her baby, eating in the sun. Like, y'all, come on. Yeah. This is it, just like no point in going this far. You need to think for yourself. You can't be listening to these stand pages. They're not going to do anything for you. They're not giving you smart advice. This girl is experiencing an existential crisis. Meanwhile, you go on Nikki's page. This woman is tweeting her ass off. She's on station head. She's kicking. She's still arguing. These people in Nikki's comments telling her, girl, you need to get off that Tina Snow. 
this girl is listening to people affirm exactly what I said in my video, that there are grounds for legal recourse. I can report to her school. She could risk being kicked out of her nursing program. She could be reported to the FBI. Sister girl is sweating. And Nicki Minaj is nowhere to be found. Nicki don't even know what the fuck is going on. Nicki! <laughs> Matter of fact, I saw a clip. Man, Nikki is just a normal human being like all of us, y'all. She didn't ask for this. She's not asking for all this. For Barb's in that space. Y'all gotta remember. Y'all gotta come down. Come down to earth. Nikki is a millionaire, probably a billionaire. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I just feel like. If you ain't at Nikki's level, don't be trying to beef with the people she beef with. You know what I'm saying? We just supporting her. You know what I'm saying? We backing her up. But at the end of the day, y'all, we got so much more to lose. I'm just saying. It's not worth it, people. It's not worth it pranked her and told her, oh my God, Nikki's here, Nikki's here, Nikki's here. And if y'all could only hear how excited this girl got, almost jumped out of her body. Who? Even in the midst of her struggle, they're still fucking with her. They still fucking around with her. So if that doesn't give y'all an idea of the kind of culture, the toxicity that exists amongst that stand base, I mean, I don't know what. So anyways, after I had everybody send an email and tag the school on Twitter, I get a response from the dean. Oh. And I left it at that. 30 minutes to an hour account. Okay, now I haven't heard any updates since the dean sent the reply, but I will keep you guys updated. Now, I do want to add, after the events had unfolded that afternoon, later that day, I got two interview requests from two very well-known publications. These are news and media-related entities. Yeah, you need I to do that, because you, you got to give, bro. to cover the story of the doxing fiasco that took place. I was one of the creators. There were several others, as I previously mentioned. Because he did his research... You know what I'm saying? He typed up them emails. This man, I mean, he deserves a job. I ain't gonna lie to you. One of the other publications actually reached out to cover a story around, you know, Cash App and how grave of an oversight it is for people to use the features on that app to authenticate people's phone numbers. I didn't know they could do that. Asking. I don't know when these stories will come out, so I will keep you guys updated on that, but in those conversations I had with these reporters, I made sure and I asked them to make note of one thing in particular. The entire fiasco that took place the last three, four days, that weekend. Yes, I'm aware the Barb's are carrying out these acts, right? The entire week is Barb this, Barb that, Barb this, Barb that. These bitches are barbaric. They're monsters. But at the end of the day, not all barbs folk are young, impressionable teens, young adults That's who crazy. are carrying out these acts in service to their quote unquote queen. They have formed entire networks, communities in the name of Nicki Minaj, and they act upon her instruction. The barbs have been running amok unchecked for years. They've been fabricating information for years. They've been doxing people's information for years. And for the first time in years, we witness in real time Nicki Minaj outright endorse this behavior from her stands. Going as far as to responding to a tweet where her stands are making fun of the person that they doxed and leaked their information. And she herself quoting that tweet, not instructing her fans to pull back. She doesn't instruct her fans, she doesn't tell her fans not to harass people in her name, no. Instead, she responds and says, if God is for me, who can be against me? And I promise y'all, Mark... <laughs> I know how it sound, right? But it's like in the same, in the same sentence, she didn't tell people to do that. She didn't tell people to do that. I feel like I, I, I get where he's coming from. He's speaking a lot of truths. But I feel like deep down he has like this hatred towards Nick. I ain't gonna lie. I do feel that. He has like a hatred towards Nick. I'm, I'm getting that vibe. But I do feel that even though she's not telling people to do this, I do feel like it would be nice for Nick to just be like, hey, y'all, y'all can't be doxing people. 
Like, this is unacceptable. I, I do wish, I feel like she's done that before, right? Because I remember one time she was like, y'all, we not finna be a bully. We not gonna bully people on this internet. I remember she, like, made some tweets and posts about it. So, I don't know. I just feel like Nikki is not encouraging this, though. I don't feel like she encourages this behavior. Words, that very tweet will be read out loud in a courtroom when the class action lawsuit is brought up against the Pettys. I promise you. And I will be in attendance. I will. I must. I must. Anyways, y'all, I have much more to say on this, but I'm getting tired. I'm getting sleepy. Let me know if y'all want to hear the entire recording. I immensely appreciate the amount of love and support that I've gotten in the last couple of days, especially through this entire situation. That's crazy, man. I, I never knew people was out here moving like that. Um, I know a lot of fan bases are probably crazy. I know this is not the first time that people's information has been leaked. But this is just an interesting story. And um, I just wanted to hear it out because I think I had heard about this. I could be mistaken, but I think this young lady possibly, um, I don't know if she lost her job or if she was, uh, something happened to her. She did suffer like a crazy consequence. And I just really wanted to do this reaction um, just to let this be like a lesson, y'all. Please don't let this be, y'all. Barbs. I know all barbs aren't like this, but it's just really not worth it. And I just wanted to bring this to y'all's attention. Um, I don't know. Y'all might be mad at me. Some of y'all might agree with me. Um, I don't agree with everything he said, but he spoke a lot of truth, I have to I have to say. Um, but yeah, maybe this will be just like an eye opener, just so y'all can see that like, I just feel like you have to know when to separate the two because you have the internet and then you have like real life and you just have to kind of find that, that middle barrier or whatever you call it, you know, find yourself in the middle and just like, don't get too far left. Don't get too far. Right. But, um, we just really have to, bring ourselves down to earth and, and really realize and think things through because, um, you know, we all have our real life situations, <laughs> you know, that we have to account for. We still have to get out here and work. Uh, we have to protect our families. You know, it's just like, like I said, it, it just, it has to be a point where it's just too far and we have to have that barrier. Like, okay, you can't cross this line, okay? Because now you tripping, okay? I'm going to tell y'all bars when y'all tripping. So there you have it. I hope y'all do better, okay? Um, I just feel like everybody's accountable for themselves. At the end of the day, you're accountable for yourself, your own actions, Okay? So let's, um, let's act accordingly, okay? All right, I'll see y'all in my next one.